Lisa here from Bubble Yoga. I thought that you guys might want a lesson on socks. What can you use with socks in your house? Well, I think socks are wonderful. I've got all of my socks out of the sock drawer. I thought that we could do a really fun breathing exercise with our socks. I don't mean sniffing. I mean making a thing on the floor and it's going to be a game. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a great big spiral on the floor with our socks. So we've got our lovely spiral and now we're going to make a game where we can use things from what we can see around the room of what we could blow. I was looking all around this room and wondering what could I use and I found this great big piece of paper. I'm sure that you can find paper in your house. So the first thing is that we're going to tear it up. Oh, that's a nice sounding tear. And then I'd like you to try splitting it into thirds, which means into three equal parts. One, two, three, and then we've got three pieces. I think we should scrunch it up now. So I want you to scrunch it up. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. So it squeezes it together. Re-squeezing the hands together, using all of the muscles. Can you try holding it with your pincer fingers? Squeeze, and then with your middle finger and your thumb and then your third finger and thumb, and then four finger and thumb. Oh, it's quite hard. Swap hands, thumb. Let's change the middle finger and thumb. Third finger and thumb, four finger and thumb. Squeeze it together. Can you try balancing it? Oh, that's quite easy. Can you throw it? Oh, it's quite hard. So throw it from one hand to the other. Getting our coordination in order. One hand to the other, keep going. And then, can you try balancing on your nose? Oh! <laughs> it's quite hard sometimes. Balancing on your nose. Balancing on your head. Balancing it from your head to your nose. <laughs> can anyone do it? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Can you try putting it in between your toes? Ooh. Can you swap? So you're holding one toe up in the air. Can you swap and hold it with the other toes? Ooh. Keep swapping. <laughs> one, two. We're getting very good coordination with our muscles. Okay, let's scrunch it up a bit more. Okay, the next game that we're going to do is that we're going to blow it all the way into the middle of the spiral. So I want you to try blowing it into the middle of the spiral. So you start at one end and then you blow all the way to the end. And you might need to crawl around and following it and jump around and see if you can get it moving. Right into the middle. That's one idea. We can try flicking it. So you can get your two socks and make it a goal post. So you make a small area. And you're gonna try flicking the ball into the middle. Yes, goal. We're catching because it's helping our eye coordination and depth perception. Woohoo! You can play with two people, one to the other, you can play it on the table, you can do lots of things with a piece of paper. So, what other things could you do with your piece of paper? Can you unwind it? Can you pull it? Can you break it? Can you shred it into pieces? Can you make snow? That wasn't particularly good today. Ooh. 
So we've just done a blowing activity and that will help our breathing, that will help our concentration and focus and help us feel more at peace with our minds. We've just done a coordination game. We've done fine motor skill. We've done gross motor skills, being on our hands and knees. What else have we done? We've done social engagement, playing with each other, if you're with somebody. We've done occupying our own time. What else? There's so many benefits that we've just done. Creativity. So, good luck with your lesson, and I hope that's given you some other ideas about what you could do when there might not be so many resources. If you want more information, have a look at bubblyogi.com.